Hey guys, it's season three in the EDL. This is our first week match with me, the Cleveland Heavy Slammers versus the Wichita Waylords. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it is your self-proclaimed mediocre Pokemon Master here, Tiggly Man. And today we're going to be looking over my uh, first match in the EDL Season 3, uh, in the Silver Tier, of course. You know, I'm not the best of the best yet, we're just the best at mediocrity, okay? So, here, me, the Cleveland Heavy Slimers, I rolled up with some fat-ass boys... Like, for real, heavyweights. Uh, we got Agron, Buzzwool, um, Landorus Therian, Titar, Gyarados, and Dusknoir, the busty little ball ghost, whatever reason. And uh, we're up against the Wichita Waylords, which, which, I don't know if you're kind of looking at this, but Celesteela looks kind of scary. Sincerely, I was kind of afraid of Celesteela. I mean, I'm always afraid of Celesteela because uh, she can she can snowball pretty quick depending on what type of set you run. But we went up against a pretty good team. Uh, my draft is, you know, obviously um, very much so a bunch of heavyweight mons, but there are some solid counters to what I brought in this. But luckily, uh, playing well, you know, came through and let's see how this goes. Hold on just one second. Hold on just one second. Sorry about that. Just had to check my audio level real quick. The music seemed kind of loud in my headphones, but we're good. Okay, let's get this started. All right, so I led Tyranitar. You know, maybe get a rock up or two, maybe destroy something. He led Conk, which was kind of a big deal. You know, can't keep men. Went Dusknoir. Um, I'm assuming he predicted this, and he knocked me off, and it did some damage. And because he's holding that flame orb, now he's going to get that attack boost, and um, yeah. He's going to be kind of a problem at the moment. So I'm going to have to sack Dusknoir. There's nothing I can really do about that. Unfortunately, it's funny enough, I kind of brought Dusknoir to pressure Conkel there, but he died right away. So, you know, I was a bit nervous, but I have answers for this. And now I just, I wanted to blow something up because this this Super Sonic Sky Strike hits so damn hard on anything, even a resisted hit. And, um... Ideally, I got rid of Conkelder, but if he swapped, it still would have been a good hit on anything coming in. He goes Blast Toys. What does he do here? I'm trying to remember what he does here. Okay, so he Rapid Spins to get uh, his speed up and or predict rocks, maybe. I think it was just to get his speed up, actually, for our offensive presence. And I don't want to get hit by no Scald. I don't want to get hit by no Ice Beam. But then he opts to Ice Punch. Very cool Blast Toys set. Um... Sandstorm's up, all good. And I'll see what Tiggly does. Yeah, this is the Tiggly team. That's how it be. And that Power Whip, Life Orb Gyarados, that damage like blew my mind. Life Orb Gyarados is some serious tech. What is it, 125 base attack with a plus 30% boost on your power? That's pretty crazy. And then this Waterfall is just so spammable once that uh, Blastoise is removed. I mean, even the Blastoise came out and I still think it would do really good chip. And 39% raw to a Celesteela. The thing is, though, it's not too crazy because, as you're going to see, he's going to, what is it, automatize? He's going to automatize to get his speed up. So I think it was an offensive Celesteela. So if that's the case, she ate the hit relatively well. But, man, Gyarados packed so much heat on that run. Clayle's going to come in, get off a quick protect, you know, get as much recovery up as he can. Just to make sure, you know, you could tank, possibly tank a blow coming his way. But man, yeah, Gyarados can snowball so fast, so fast. Especially if I ran Moxie. That'd be crazy. I just really like having a, a powerful Intimidate core. Having a good Intimidate core can really change the dynamic of matches very quickly. And unfortunately, I thought he was speed boost Yanmega. Yanmega, whatever it's called. I thought he was going to protect. If you're wondering why I DD'd like a moron. But no, he was not. I believe he ends up being Specs. I believe it's kind of what it came to consensus on. Because that was just a neutral bug buzz, and that knocked my Gyarados out from 48%. And the Gyarados has base 100 speed F, so there ain't no neutral, unboosted uh, special attack that should inherently kill him from there. And then I am running a Scarfed Tiggly Wool, which is able to pick up the KO. And that's why I kind of found out use specs. And then Tiggolo Therian. Tiggolo Therian is a heavy weight. And this is going to be a raw... Was it this earthquake like just Oko or I can't remember how this goes? Yeah, and this is the raw earthquake Oko. And I do have to say one thing: Landorus Therian might be the most generic grab mon 
right? Like, if he's available, you take him just because he's so good. But, like, why the hell is he so good? Why does he have to be? He's such a staple. You can roll up with Landorus. Your opponent can be prepped for Landorus. And Landorus can still sweep, right? All the time. It's happened to me. It's, I think it's happened to anyone that plays Pokemon Showdown regularly in the OU ladder. You know, not Gen 8, of course, because Landorus isn't in it. But in Gen 7, how many teams did you roll up with prep to kill Lando? But they brought it, too, and they ended up killing you with Lando. Like, the Mon's insane. The ground flying typing is crazy. Um, fantastic Mon. I'm really glad I got him in the draft. I was the second last person, actually, out of, I think it was 16 people. I was the second last in the first round, and uh, Landorus wasn't taken, so jumped right on that. It was my first time ever being able to draft Landorus. But yeah, anyway, guys, if you've made it to this point, uh, thanks a lot for checking out the video. I'll have my uh, week two battle up tomorrow. So stay tuned, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.